Hey, good afternoon. It's Ron here. Hadn't given y'all an update on the house here in a few weeks, so uh, been about two weeks or so since the last post. Um, maybe maybe three. We've got uh, doing a lot of work on the house. Uh, been over there just about every day uh, that I can. We had some birthdays come up. And Sundays I don't get around to doing much because I spend time with the family and church and, and all but been out here just about every day uh, got a lot a lot of progress done um, it's not turnkey in two or three weeks but there sure is a lot of progress I'll give y'all an update to where we're at and just uh, bear in mind there's a lot of construction debris out here right now and that's that's to be expected until we're done and we do the final cleanup. But if y'all remember how overgrown this place was, it was horrible. And now, I mean, it's all we, we got all that. We took off 22 loads of brush. We hauled off 22 loads of brush. It was absolutely crazy how much brush we hauled off out of here. We moved my my building for my other house, that, that was good to have it out here so we could have a nice place for storage and all. Um, got deer heads in there and we're going to move our couches over here and we might even live in there for a little while until we get the house all redone. Been going around jacking it up, getting it leveled up. We ripped off this back porch, it was pretty much rotted away and so we ripped that down and we're going to rebuild it and uh, this is going to be our dining room this will be our dining room here and then right over there will be our laundry room uh, right over there kind of take you into the house kind of give you all an idea we knocked this uh, th there was two windows here we took those out today right now we just got a piece of plywood up just to keep uh do and stuff like that we don't have any rain coming or anything but we have been in here working on cabinets countertops we, we still got to do something with backsplash they're probably going to tile that and painting out here um do a lot of a lot of work in here we uh we took knocked that wall out uh framed in a bar um whitewashed ship lap on that side came over here and we, uh, we tiled the top of this bar here. It's pretty nice. This originally had a bunch of uh, built-in cabinets. We ripped those out. Found a, almost a six-foot snake in the bottom of it. That was interesting. We are going to come back and sheetrock the ceiling here. And sheetrock that far piece there and fill in those gaps. And then we're going to leave the shiplap here. And we're just going to polyurethane that and paint the trim and then come back in here we're just gonna clean all this up and paint it and this will be our living area put a put a sofa on this wall and put a sofa on that wall and, and then back over here we'll have our our tv on the wall here and then that'll flow right into the kitchen and then we're you see where we got that plywood back there that'll continue there'll be another bar over there and that'll continue to flow into the dining room over there this room here, we uh, we are going to re-sheetrock this whole room. Uh, originally, this was the living room, but we've decided to try to make that other side flow better. So we're going to open up. A, this is the front door. We're going to put a new front door in, but we're going to build a wall right next to it. So it has a hallway, entrance hallway with a door that goes in to that room and a door that goes in the living room. Uh, we hadn't really done anything in this other room yet it's still pretty much just the way it was still got some work to do in here other than we've ripped out the tub and and everything from the from the bathroom we've completely gutted the bathroom it's so dark in there because we took that window out too but we have completely gutted it and we're gonna tomorrow we're gonna re-sheetrock that room and and then uh, get some tile on those walls maybe maybe by Friday get some tile on those walls and get that tub re-epoxied and reset and start putting a 
some fixtures back in it. I'm excited though. It's uh, it's coming together. It's starting to look like something. For a six thousand dollar house, we've got about another fifteen hundred in it right now. We've come a long way. Um, still got to rewire the house. We haven't done that yet. We're running everything off a generator right now. I've got everything to wire the house. Uh, just haven't done that yet. They told me it was going to be about six to eight weeks before they could drop a, a new pole with a transformer and hook into my meter. They did come out. I installed a, uh, a breaker box here right back over there with a with a meter socket and comes around and goes up and goes into the attic I did all that and they they uh, inspected that and approved that so um, we we got a couple bids on doing the roof I don't know if I'm gonna do that by myself or if I'm gonna hire that out yet we've got a we got a pretty good bid about four thousand to have somebody else do it and it might be worth just letting them do it so I don't fall off the roof you know we'll see uh, I can buy all the metal for about two so I don't know which way I'm gonna go yet but anyway I wanted to give you all an update of where the house is going and how it's looking and I hope that y'all uh, continue to follow and and uh, like what y'all see so far so God bless